Hi, everyone, and welcome to another edition of Passion Weekly, your source for roles, recruitment, supply chain, and technology. So there are a few roles I would like to discuss today. Firstly, we have a financial accountant role for our client who's a global leader in the design, engineering, uh, development, and marketing of performance vehicles in uh, Australia and the UK. We're looking for someone with minimum two to three years of uh, industry experience in a big four or mid-tier firm with relevant degree and CFA or CA qualifications. If this role sounds interesting, please get in touch. Uh, we have a supply chain director role for a global supply chain advisory company. The role is based in Melbourne, uh, ideally looking for someone with proven experience as a supply chain leader uh, with deep knowledge in professional services, retail or FMCG industries and thorough understanding of the cross-functional uh, areas and systems of large and complex supply chain. Uh, if this role interests you, please give us a call. Uh, we have one more role for the same company, uh, and this one's for a program director position in the UK. Uh, the role would be responsible to lead the delivery of supply chain uh, transformation program for major clients. Um, idly looking for someone with strong technical competency or experience in related areas across program management and thorough understanding in strategy formulation and transformation delivery. Um, and the last one I wanted to mention was the marketing manager role in Tokyo. Our customer is a global uh, market leading supply chain technology company. Uh, if you have background in SaaS, good knowledge in supply chain and ha have an experience in marketing, then this role could be for you. So uh, these are the roles I wanted to talk about today. In terms of recruitment news, the unemployment rate remained at 3.5% in June in seasonally adjusted terms with employment rising uh, around 33,000 people and the number of unemployed decreasing by 11,000 people, according to data released by Australian Bureau of Statistics. The rise in employment in June saw the employment to population ratio remain at a record high of 64.5%, reflecting a tight labor market in which employment has recently increased in line with population growth, said the ABS head of uh, labor statistics. On the supply chain side, uh, new research has suggested that Australian SMEs in response to COVID-19 uh, pandemics, supply chain disruptions, are seeking to replace international uh, supplies with domestic ones. According to latest SME growth index by Australian non-bank uh, business lender, Scott Pack, 28% of Australian SMEs, especially small SMEs, plan to add new domestic supplies over international ones in the next 18 months. This strategy aims to enhance um, supply chain resilience and build a stronger domestic network, as the index suggested. So that's all for our Bastion Weekly. If you've got any questions, uh, please give us a call and feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. We will see you guys next week.